Welcome to a brand new podcast, and this is the Oracle 19, and my name is Greatness. Or you can shop online to our baby shopping mall, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. There we have a whole wide range of products, and that's from clothing, men's, kids, children, well, men's, ladies, kids, clothing, house products, artwork, bathroom accessories, and much, much more. So check it out. Check it out. www.evolutionoflondon.com. Again, that's our baby shopping mall. And also check out www.evolutionoflondon.org. Once again, that's www.evolutionoflondon.org. O-R-G. There we have custom clothing, accessories, digital products, uh, such as artwork, digital artwork, I should say, e-books, that's per- for personal and business purposes, and we will be expanding into the digital world, so definitely check out www.evolutionoflondon.org. We do have different links to other products and accessories that we do have, so check out www.linktree. Dot com forward slash evolution of dunk evolution of London. Once again, that's triple w dot link tree. That's L I N K T R E E dot com forward slash evolution of London. And we have a Patreon channel as well, videos that is not on YouTube. And we also getting into the digital world there as well. And we have a lot of tiers, different uh, areas within the Patreon channel, which you can go into. Definitely reasonable uh, prices, consulting prices as well, if you need any consulting. So, and other services we have all in, on our Patreon channel. So, again, www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. And any business or sponsorship inquiries, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. If you want to put your brand on our channel, or the Oracle 19 podcast, I should say. So email us, evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. And that's the same email if you want to make a free will offering. Same email evolutionoflondon at gmail.com that's our paypal channel and we do have a gofundme page as well that we will have posted in our description box of the oracle 19 podcast and again speaking about the oracle 19 podcast we're on all major platforms which is anchor.fm google apple apple itunes spotify just to name a few so definitely like subscribe share pass the word we expand it throughout the world so definitely pass the information puff puff and pass all you smokers out there music by cheap limousine cheap limousine channel that you hear right now you go to his channel he has a whole wide range of beats subscribe to the channel and then he uh, from there, he have uh, social media, other social media platforms that you can link into. So check that out. Cheap Limousine Channel on YouTube. And speaking about YouTube, we have our educational channel, which is Greatness 19 Channel. And we have over, well, we have quite a few videos, put it that way. To open up your third eye. So check out Greatness 19 channel on YouTube and speaking about continue on YouTube, Mr. Evolution of London, that's our health and wellness channel. Definitely we need you to to like, subscribe and share on that channel as well. A lot of good information. So Mr. Evolution of London on YouTube. 
Support Mr. Will. He's a fitness consultant for over 15 years. Definitely, you, if you want to book a consultation, email him at williesfitness99 at gmail.com. Again, that's Willie's W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And also support his merchandise, www.wjaaccessories.com. Once again, that's www.wjaaccessories.com. He have a whole wide range of clothing and accessories. And he also getting into the digital world as well. So definitely check that out. Any other information that I haven't mentioned, you could always check out the information in the description box of the Oracle 19 podcast, Greatness 19, and Mr. Evolution of London. Again, like, subscribe, and share to those channels and platforms, rather, and support it. Again, you can't go wrong. Okay, well... Excuse me. Today's topic we're going to talk about time to push the reset button. Again, time to push the reset button. Again, I'm going to give you my perspective that I see throughout the world. And again, I know it will be triggering to a lot of people, but again, it's just my perspective. And again, what I'm going to talk about pushing the reset button, this world is going to hell in a handbasket. I'm sure you heard something like that before. Just when I think, just when I think it's something different and new that or something I I have seen before, there's always something new that is presented to me. Now I was just social uh, checking out social media a couple of days ago. And what I came across with on YouTube two females they go with each other. Now, that's not new. I mean, you know, homosexuality, bisexuality, lesbianism, you know, we, it's here, it is what it is. That wasn't that kind of tripped me out, or threw me off a little bit. What threw me off is this woman, I mean, she have a condition, obviously, but she, was, she had a beard. Now, I know in terms of the science world and, and body and, and people's bodies, body types, and more testosterone grows in women. Sometimes chin hairs, they get hairy. I mean, it is what it is. It's all different types of unfortunate things. So that's, that wasn't that tripped me out. Per se. She had a, you know, a goatee. This was in, in England, I believe. And you can go on YouTube and check that out. Woman, typing like woman with a beard. Now, I know you're probably going to come up with a lot of different things. And this is not the first time I ever heard her about a, a scene or seen a woman with a, a goatee. But... What tripped me out is, okay, you have a goatee, and she goes with a woman, obviously, okay, it's what it is, <laughs> but what tripped me out, she's going to the barbershop and getting a lineup on her goatee. I mean, you're a woman, okay, I, I would think you would want to be clean shaven. I don't know. What do I know? She's at the barber shop, and of course the barber's gonna line her up because 
know, he's getting paid, so he, he don't care. He's not looking at she being a female, ain't they? He's looking at just let me get through dealing with this little heifer, and uh, you know, let, let, let's get paid. You know, it is what it is. But just, just in her mind, you know, she have a a, a goatee thicker than mine. <laughs> She's just going to the barbershop and getting a lineup. So I guess she embracing her goatee. Whew, what a world. A world that women born on this planet Earth. And they want to be like men. I'm gonna get. I'm a, I'm talking about. I'm gonna get to many different topics, guys. So this is not first one. I mean, this is just not the only one, I should say. But yeah, just the that just threw me off a little bit. She have a goatee, and she went to the barbershop just to get a a lineup for her goatee, just like a dude. I mean, this world is bisexual, trisexual, women that don't want to be defined as men or women, they just want to be, it's not even a, a homophobic, you know, with a uh, uh, person having two body parts anymore. It's not that per se. It's just, in her mind, or his mind, they're not a man or woman, they just a... Uh, a it. A it. This is why, in my opinion, it's time to push the reset button, aim and fire on the planet Earth. I mean, and then her girlfriend. They show the picture of the video. They talking, you know, because they interviewing both. And they rubbing their chins together. Ugh. So, I guess the other one is just... She likes the feel of, of that other woman's goatee. Welcome to the planet Earth. Now, you know we got to... Some of y'all guys... I mean, come on. That reset button. Aim. Fire. Boom. On the earth. This is why some people really don't even care about living. Why would you want to... Why are you excited... I'm just saying, why? There's a lot of people with certain thinking. Why are they excited about this planet Earth? I mean, what you live? I mean, you excited about paying taxes? You excited, excited about drama you have to go through in the streets, crime, disease, famine, and then you see this confusion. It's on the flip side, you we already know there's men out here that don't want to be men no more. They they just want to be women. So they get the, they get their operation. Now they want to play women's sports. And there's a big debate about that. Should the little sweeties be able to play with the girls, the ladies in sports? Again, I'm 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 gonna be random with different topics, but I'm bringing it home with one conclusion: the reset button. But I'm just kind of repurging. Or I'm kind of purging my mind of of all this uckery. I didn't curse. I just said uckery. The women is up in arms. 
I mentioned this in videos that really the the sweethearts are the new women of society. Can be. Because and the reason why I'm saying that because they have more rights than the real women. Because they could float now. They they gonna be playing sports. They are playing female sports, and it's gonna expand. So these is men cross over to women and playing small sports, and it's gonna be destroying the women in sports. In MMA, they got the sweethearts there. You're going to see the track and field. It's going to expand in a lot of things. In, a, in, in college basketball, for fe- female, uh, you know, female college basketball, you name it. It's just going to expand, point blank. So, and then nowadays, you know, the, the sweethearts go in the ladies' bathroom. And I know for the ladies, that's very, very, a lot of them is very, very uncomfortable with that. Rightfully so. Is it, I mean, but now they have new laws that saying, you know, you can't discriminate and stuff like that. Because they got rights too, they could think whatever they want to think. They could be whoever they want to be. Well, Jiminy Crickets, I'm just going to be a fly. How about that? Jiminy Crickets, I'm going to be a fly guy. For sure. For sure. I'm just going to be a fly. And I'm going to get notarized and say, I am a fly. And if you discriminate on me, we taking that to Supreme Court because I am a fly. Why? Just why? Just push the reset button and aim and fire. Boom. See all the confusion? And these, and our babies gotta grow up, and we gotta raise in this uckery of nonsense. And you wonder why the little boys and girls don't know if they're coming and going, and they already have mental illness at the age of one. Because their my them I was gonna say their mammy is a trans sweetie. Their mammy, <laughs> their mammy want to be a guy. Their fathers want to be a girl. So the young boys and girls don't know what they are. They see the men being women teachers. Women being men, teachers, I don't know. It, it just, at a young age, teaching our babies and saying it's okay to be like me, a sweetie, trans sweetie. You heard it first, trans sweetie. That's, that's what you... That's the that's what we're looking at right now. Then on top of that, this pandemic that is floating around here, they turn it on and off. Seem like every now for the past two years is one one season after three months they they up it they shut the they shut the uh, the cities or towns or areas they close it down and then they open it up close it open it up first i thought one one jab was it then it became two jabs 
Now it's three. In some places, it's four, five jabs. And first it was for the elderly and the adults. Then became the teenagers. Now it's the babies. Soon it'll be the, they already pushing the little infants. Zero to three, you know? And they're going to, and they're going to continue with this. And you limited to, you can't travel here. You can't go here. You need a mask here. You don't need, you, you limited to go here. You can't eat here. You can't swim here. You can't play here. Can't go to school here. No freedom. Your freedom is taken away. You don't know if you're coming and going. And you don't think this reset button need to be pushed? This is this is what we up against. You can't even now travel other countries freely anymore. This is your normal. Now they created a meta metaverse, which been created decades ago, but is more popular now. Where you could go on in this world and buy property that is not physical. It's just from your mind. It's from your mind. You're buying property from your mind. You could be a superhero. A billionaire. You could be whatever you need to be in this virtual world that is becoming now the, your reality. And now there's little stories already brewing where if you talk it to a woman in this virtual world and if you touch her listen to what I'm saying if you touch her in the virtual world that is not real if you touch women in the virtual world that is not real. The question been already put out there. Charges could maybe laid on you in this virtual world. Now it's just discussions now. It's not official yet. Okay? But I'm going to give you my perspective, my opinion. That's going to be the real world. And don't be surprised in that metaverse. That if you men touch that woman in that virtual reality, you will be charged in this reality. Don't be surprised. That's how insane this world that you live in is here on this planet earth dealing with evil beings that is implementing all of these crazy laws who are they what color are they that's your reality it is what it is I mean, this is, this is the crazy things out here that people have to deal with. It's bad enough you got to deal with, you can't even, water should be free, but you got to pay for water. And then you, when you buy the bottle of water, it's toxic. All different Leftover plastics that's in there. Small little particles of plastic that's in your water that you drink in, that you pay for, that should be free. Water and air should be free all the time. But it's not. This is 
the world that you live in. And you don't think a reset button shouldn't be pushed? You don't think your Lord should push the reset button? You don't think that your Lord and Savior should, should, should not push that button? I mean, if you're a religious person, you think of the scriptures, the story of Solomon and Gomorrah. And there's so many different civilizations that had to fall because of this degenerate society, past, present, and hopefully not future. Your fools is being tainted all the time, altered, genetically modified, seedless, extra dyes to put in your meats to keep it fresh or keep it look keep to keep it looking like it's fresh. You eat meat that is two or three months old from the farmer after slaughtering to a warehouse to the supermarket laid over slice and dice and put extra dyes to make it look fresh and then it gets to you and then you is in your freezer for maybe a couple more days guess what it's been 30 days now and this is what you eat I know all of this sounds depressing and mess, messed up while we're on this planet Earth, we got to make the best of it. And we got to take care of ourselves to the best of our ability. Because our body is our temple. But to see all of this degenerate and evil behavior that is put upon people of today is sickening. And watch how government is pushing all of this confusion and degenerate behavior evil is good good is evil and to start again piggybacking what I said the first time nobody if they nobody knows anymore if they they male or females you come out the wound as a male but now people are so confused you are it <laughs> You don't know if you're a man, woman, a beast. You you worse than a, a beast on the ground. A pig have more a pig have more stability than human beings mentally. Animals have in general have more mental stability than humans at this present moment because at least they have order. <laughs> At least they have order within their own animal kingdom. We don't even have no order. We just out here, just, we don't know what we doing. We don't have, we just out here running wild. And hearing the delusional behavior, and let's start with this, with the weak men out here. How, how weak they've been, they've been conditioned especially in European and North American European nations. They are, that's a, and that's spread even worldwide. Just making men weak, so weak-minded. Just accept all different types of BS. It's, it's very sad and it's pathetic. And the, women, the men out here, and I mention this in different Shows so you can go back to last year's shows and and rehash on that. And then you have women here that is, I guess they ate a lot of raw meat and their testosterone is super high and they feel they so entitled. It's unbelievable and they have nothing to offer but they have a lot of mouth and say so. Sickening. No family structure. No nothing. Everybody just running wild. They have no clue to what they need to do. So it's time. I mean, would you be sad? 
that the Lord will push, finally push the reset button. I, we sure need something because we can't go on like this. It just can't go on like this, this type of behavior, this type of society. It just can't. I hope I be one of the few that be spared and be taken up and, you know, as what they say in Revelations, the 144,000. But I'm just saying, even if you're not religious, it got something has to give. Something has to give. Thank you for listening.